there are some writings I have now, and I need some proofreaders. So people who are really good at grammar, punctuation, and stuff like that. So if you are interested, please contact me, because I really, really need you. God bless you. There may be some people who really like dancing. Okay. And some of those people may, when it comes down to learning a new dance move, some of those people may place so much time and effort into learning how to do those dance moves. There may be some people that want a particular type of job. They may be willing to take so many courses, so many classes, place so much money into their education in order to receive that degree or that job or whatever else. There may be some people that may want to travel or do particular things in different countries. And they may find out that they need this and that and this passport and other things. Now, some people may be willing to do whatever it takes to receive what they need to travel. There may be some people that may want to learn different languages. No matter how hard it is, some people are willing to place so much time and effort into it. Some people may. But when it comes down to God and learning his rules, for some reason, people may believe that it is different, that you don't have to place so much time and effort into it. How is it different? When you are trying to when you are trying to learn how to dance, some people may place so much time and effort into it. When it comes down to trying to get a job, chances are some people place so much time and effort into it. But when it comes down to God, Kevin, let me try about eight times and if it doesn't work the eighth time Kevin it is too hard let me complain about it I pray that this makes sense what comes to my mind when a person emails me or comments to me telling me that living for God is hard what comes to my mind, and I can be wrong about this, you really don't have interest in serving God. You really don't. Now, when you want to dance, you are going to practice, or you may practice. When it comes down to singing, you may practice. When it comes down to driving, you may practice. When it comes down to stuff that you want to do, you may practice. But when it comes down to God, Kevin, <laughs> no practicing for me, Kevin, no. <laughs> As an example. Or you may believe that it should happen like this.
for many of us, I believe, that serve God now, it is not easy for any of us, I believe. It is not easy for any of us. I truly believe that. But as in the you example. believe that one day you listen to a teaching and say, let me live for God. And after the first week or two, Kevin, <laughs> no. <laughs> How crazy is that? From my understanding, anything worth having is going to take time and effort. Chances are, and I can be wrong about this, I can be wrong about this. If there is anything that you don't really need to place time and effort into it, chances are it is not worth having. <laughs> so if you aren't placing too much time and effort into something, chances are it is not really worth having. And I can be wrong about that. So stop thinking in this crazy way believing that you don't need to practice or place effort into serving God listen what I learned if you aren't willing to give up anything to serve God chances are you are not going to make it you have to be willing to sacrifice anything. Anything and everything, which is the same thing, I believe. So be willing to sacrifice anything. And if you are, serving God is going to be much more easy. So much more easy. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you tell someone that you love them. God bless you.